my show. Okay. Now, again, with Dame to Milwaukee, Drew to Boston, who are the top four teams in each conference? We can start with the East. East, 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 East. Do you have yours now? Off the top of the dome. I knew he was going to do that. Oh. I was thinking about it. When, uh, it was mentioned before. And I was like, hmm, I know it's Boston, Milwaukee, one and two. In what order? Milwaukee, Boston. Mm. Philly's still there, bro. Like, I know they're getting rid of. I, I know they're getting rid of. As the roster is currently constructed, <laughs> Philly's still right there. He reported today, apparently. Yeah, he saves on coming. Oh, he finally showed up. Mm -hmm. After uh, missing uh, media day. Yesterday. Um, Philly's still right there. And I was like, to be fair, shit, it's either between Cleveland or uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. I feel like Brooklyn is going. Brooklyn is back to that, that squad that has no real super stuff pretty much the team that they had before kd them showed up and was like man they're just one player away i feel like they have now a better talent and they're still that same squad where they'll give you fits and problems they'll be with young their... and exciting but give me the other new york team before yeah. give me the next <sighs> no not with with jalen brunson like i listen i like they didn't do much this off season but they got dante they got, dante, right? they got a villanova reunion mm -hmm. that's, that's where there. i was hoping that he was gonna go it fits drew. oh drew. that's why i was hoping drew was gonna go that fits too that would have been nasty but like also not a threat uh <laughs> <laughs> so like i see you had the net, the nets on like not to spoil your, your list but you have them higher this is not in order oh okay. i just listed the teams i was okay i was yeah. concerned i'm like i don't get the so maybe you give me the argument but like what's what excites you about the nets i think that's as a squad like it's one of those again before they got kd them they had one of those teams where it's like so okay it's like no not even fucking vibes bro it's like <laughs> i like cam johnson uh -huh. I like Cam Thomas. Okay. I like Bleak Bleak Beasley. So He's like on he on our team. I mean I believe please. Mikael Bridges. I like Bridges. Bridges is gonna be all -star. that guy. The yeah. All-star season I, coming he, up. Or pushing it. He's, he's going to make that move yeah, after this summer. NBA preview coming up. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. After this summer, we're <laughs> yeah. playing on an Olympic team or uh, the, World Cup. the World Cup squad. I feel like he was like, okay, I'm right here with these cats, but mm -hmm. I think I'm a little bit above that now and he know he's going back to brooklyn to be that guy cam johnson same thing they're like okay look y'all claxton we got a nice young nucleus here where y'all can go ahead and actually start making some noise quick question do you think ben simmons is going I feel like he plays this year i feel like because now you don't have to worry about kd you ain't gotta worry <laughs> <laughs> James Harden. Okay. Yeah, got, yeah, you don't have that now. It's just, oh, and then you ain't did nothing really to worry about in like the last couple of years. So now everybody like, I just want you to play, bro. So you think he'll play? Do you think he bounces back to being? I don't Philly? know about all star, but Seven. again, you have a seven foot point guard that's, that can defend all. And he five. said he a point guard, and he's gonna help. I mean, gonna help. So I like, I, I like their team because collectively, again, they don't have that one guy that they're all like, okay, this is his Keying show. It's like no. Now we're in the hands of the coaches at this point. What can y'all do with this talent? And it looked like towards the end of the year, even though they got thrown together at the last minute, they started, you can see something in Brooklyn. You can see like, ah, okay, I can see y'all might be able to do some shit next year. At least to me. I think they're a top six team in the East. Is that what I got? I One, two, three, four. Because it's just, like I said, it's between them uh, and Cleveland. Seven, top seven. <laughs> they're a playoff uh, team. I, 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 I'll head. probably have Orlando above them, but that's just Ooh. we didn't go that far, so I didn't think it out through yeah. fully. <laughs> we'll do that for our NBA preview show because that's right, a take. Right. Yeah. Anyway, um, so what's your first? You got Bucks, Celtics, 76ers, and Nets. And Nets? I'm gonna go with the Cavs. I don't argue with them, but the Cavs just they have a better team, like talent wise, still. Because again, you can't fight Donovan Mitchell, and then you still have Jared Allen, you have Eric Mobley, you have. Uh, Evan Mobley, yeah. Do you have Evan Mobley? You have uh, shit. I still like Karis Levert over there. You know, he has his up and down and stuff like that. He kind of fit over there. But oh, they just picked up Max Struess yep. and Nia. So Not that and Garland superstar, still like, like they have the they have their starters there. So their issue is like what I've been talking about with the Bucks this year, their issue last year. They didn't have a fifth starter. Mm -hmm. yeah. like they had the four spots locked down mm -hmm. and then that fifth starter was always a problem for him um and i don't know if Struess or it's, gonna, it's probably gonna be can necessary well i guess what i'm saying is like i don't know if they're like the answer answer but they're at least somebody to throw out there where you know they can play in a playoff series mm -hmm. um and they i, I like i like Cleveland. like I, they got really yeah. nice talent like 
no, we'll get, yeah, KG asked no, no Miami. Miami. Not we'll in his top group, four. Yeah. For sure. Uh, I don't have Miami either. Uh, Bucks, Celtics, Cavs, Sixers. Is, oh, so I guess the same. Mm-hmm. Same just different four, order. Just in a different order. It's Bucks, Celtics, dot, 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 Cavs, Sixers. Knicks are around that same area. Um, Atlanta, I, Not and maybe he, I'm the one he's talking about because he's saying like people just hate on him, but I don't like Trey Young, so like I don't really like always probably underrate Atlanta. Um, but like they do have a lot of talent. I think I like their moves for the most part over the offseason. Um, and given all the bullshit that's coming out of Toronto, like I could easily see Pascal getting traded there. Yeah. Uh, so if that happens, then I like them even more. Um, the Sixers, I think, are still as currently constructed the third most talented team in the East. It's just I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> and even if Harden comes back, like we know it's quiet quitting Harden. Fat suit Harden. <laughs> so um, that gives me pause, and it depends on what they can kind of spin him into. Uh, but you got Embiid, and like that's the floor. I think is a four C in the East if you have Embiid. So for, for me, I'm going to say Bucks and Celtics are one and two. I go back and forth about which one of those two teams I think is better with the roster as currently constructed. Um, the fan of me, of course, is going to say Bucks versus everybody. Like it is what it is. But again, when I think about that, when I think about playoff lineups. And some of the things that Boston can do, as long as they can find like one at the bare minimum, one other guy <laughs> to extend that line, the, that rotation to seven, if they can find two, excellent. Uh, I'm going to actually go Boston, Milwaukee, and it's very close. Boo. It's very close. <laughs> Boston, Milwaukee, with Harden reporting back, I get it. Embiid, I get it. But give me Miami before you give me philly uh we i know miami lost a couple of key dudes they lost lost max Schroes. we talked about that they lost gabe vincent they were AC last year. i know they were <laughs> but they were at afc because they couldn't they couldn't they had a bad shooting regression throughout the season and they had a lot of injuries things just weren't working out for them like talent wise like seeing their run in the playoffs i can't look at that roster and be like ah well Y'all, y'all just an AC. Like I just, I just can't, I can't bring myself to do it. And I understand that Jimmy doesn't take the regular season as hard as he does the playoffs. But that's not the question. The question isn't here. What, what are the standings going to be? You know, at the, what are the top four standings going to be in the East? It's the best four teams. So you give me Boston, Milwaukee, Miami, and then you give me Cleveland. I think Cleveland's better than Philly. And and a part of it is the internal turmoil that they got going on. But like. I just Philly makes me nervous uh, with all the other things they have going on, and I think they kind of take a step back with all of that clouding uh, their season. And we all know how important chemistry is, so that's part of why I'm putting Philly behind at five. So going back to the Bucks Celtics conversation, mm-hmm. I am being a homer, but also <laughs> the way I look at it is like I've the Bucks. As we talked about, like kind of have an unsolvable problem, well, damn, and like yeah. I have to see, like what defenses throw at that to try to slow it down. Mm-hmm. I've seen the Celtics, like granted it's different personnel, but I've seen the Celtics get solved, and like I've seen them struggle, like the Bucks have with offense in the playoffs, and like love Drew to death. He doesn't help in that regard. He might a little bit more this upcoming season with having less offensive workload on his shoulders but does he actually have less offensive workload yeah because he's he's behind tatum and uh brown, brown. just like he was behind chris and Giannis. yeah but i feel like tatum and brown eat up a lot more of the offense than what they were giving drew here chris was just hurt though for a while and he was but i mean i'm saying like even when they the championship run like drew's offense wasn't any great no he was eric Bledsoe on offense we all right, know right. No, and, and like i'm not trying to take away from him i'm just saying like i don't think that like if you look at drew's regular season numbers like when we put it in a playoff setting like i don't think you can really apply that there and like i don't think that he's necessarily getting easier looks than he got in milwaukee because he's in boston now like all the all the defense like a lot of people's deep what am i trying to say a lot of people's defensive strategies was stop Giannis or stop Giannis mm-hmm. chris pick and roll and it was like if drew beat you he drew beat you 
And I don't see that changing in Boston necessarily. And where I see that change is I just don't feel like he's going to be asked to carry as big of an offensive load in Boston as he was in Milwaukee. And I think without him having to carry as much, it frees him up a little bit more defensively, which is, of course, where he loves to live. Uh, when you got Tatum and you got Brown and they just going to they gonna put up 20, 25 shots, like, that is what, it, like, you're going to find it where you can get it. We saw Marcus Smart started doing, I'm going to just shoot because mm. it ain't coming back to me. So I'm going to just idea. shoot. I mean, he started knocking him down as he got as he continued to age. So but like, shots. I know, I know. But that's that's why that that again. I think Milwaukee and Boston are very very close. Uh-huh. It's one a one like it's 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 close. Uh, but I'm going just to give that slight edge to Boston over Milwaukee at the moment because I know we talked about the defense with Milwaukee. You got to see it. You got the big big guys behind you, but the perimeter defense is still a question mark at the moment. And that's what I would have to see solve before I'm like, yeah, Milwaukee over Boston. But awesome. yeah, again, like these are things I thought about through the week. So I'm just trying to get like all my thoughts out. Also, we saw from last year, great offense beats great defense. Like oh, yeah. Drew did everything that he could he with Jenny. That shit <laughs> did work. not matter one bit. Um, so again, if the Bucks have again the unsolvable offense, like it don't matter what no, defense you it. throw at it. And I want you to be right. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be so right. I hope I'm wrong. I hope Boston fall apart at the seams. I really do. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. So that's my four in the East. In the West, Tim, who you got? Top Man, I've been over here struggling with the West. <laughs> um, I got the champs, of course. Okay. Nuggets? Do we all have Nuggets one? Yes. yes. Okay. I got Phoenix Can't two. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix number two. They've really filled out that roster. They well with minimum contracts. Yeah. Sorry. Point. Everybody talking about. I shouldn't say everybody, but I feel like people just look at the talent and be like, they downgraded from Aiden to Nurkic. No. It's fit. It's fit. It's like they don't need a center that does what Aiden does. Nope. They need a center that rebounds, that sets screen, that passes. And that's that's not go- That's cheaper. <laughs> that's not going to like be upset because he's not he getting shots. You know, eight game eight plays a game called specifically for him to score like they need somebody that's gonna do the dirty work so it's like addition by subtraction yeah. to a degree and again you're like you're getting a better fit like when you have those three players like on offense you don't need another mouth to feed and you don't need somebody that's gonna be upset because they're not getting fit so like i get it on paper nerd and aiden probably aren't on the same tier anymore but for what Phoenix needs, like I feel like that's a much better fit. I agree. And he's a seven footer. He can still move. Yeah. He can still get in the way. <laughs> he ain't been the same since he broke his leg. That's a fact. So like when all, everybody's talking about like, oh, he's a defensive anchor. I'm like, I don't Not know. No but I said he can get you away. Frank Vogel, <laughs> like who has gotten a lot out of his centers like throughout his career. I do think that if they targeted him specifically, it's for a reason he thinks he can use them. So like I, I'm willing to see like what it happens. But, like I, I just want to get that point out there because I feel like so many people are like, why, why would Phoenix do that? Like one, they picked up two wings, which can only help them, and like for the center room, like they basically got a better fit, even if he's less talented. They still uh, need a point guard though. All right, and number three, I have Memphis. They gonna you been be- 25 games without Ja. Or I guess right. it yeah, they got Marcus Smart. Yeah. yeah. And then when he comes, oh my Andy, God, their defense is. I mean, they still got. Good Lord. Yeah. They, they're disgusting. Um, yeah, and number four. Uh, so, number four, I was. It was a toss up between the Clippers and Sacramento, but I'm going to go with Sacramento. Mm. I'm going to roll with the young guns. And I think they're going to continue to move up and move on from what they did. Keegan Murray have another year on theirs, belt. He gonna be a big help if he can continue to go up. Good lord, that'd be <laughs> crazy. Uh, Fox, no, uh, off night. <laughs> you love, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I, I fuck yeah, with the nickname, yeah. um, but it's a bonus. And like they go, the squad's gonna. I like Sacramento, I and I think that they going with, with the Kings. Like, what was the first name you said? Fox. Uh, I don't think so, but okay. <laughs> no, I'm just curious because like it's always funny like who you start with because they'll be like, oh no, I think it was Keegan Murray. <laughs> yeah, it was. Which but I was, it's just yeah. like I always like try to I'm like it's it's always gonna be somebody that's like kind of random. I think about like, certain really things random. with like 
I don't know, maybe it's a you don't go to I'm an like expectation the top guy. Line, yeah, top like guy I expect first. the top guy to be the top guy. Right. Like, but the you guy that I expect to take the jump, like, hey, he get married, he's gonna change everything. I feel it. Okay, so you got Nuggets, Suns, Grizzly Kings as the top four teams, not standing wise, but just top four best teams in the West. Eric. Uh, Nuggets, of course. Lakers, um, Warriors, and Suns. I went with the legacy guys. Yeah, you did. I was looking at the Lakers roster. I was like, they don't have a bet. I like y'all squad. Because I was like, I don't know if they if I'll take them over Phoenix though, or Memphis, or Denver, or. But so the thing with the Lake, Lakers are in my top four, and part of the reason is seeing how they were able to reconstruct that team after that deadline Fit. and see how much more it made sense. I'm like, oh, this team could like do something. We saw Austin Reeves take, you know, he came on last year. We saw him over the summer. He continued to like mm-hmm. Rui Hachimura is working with LeBron and LeBron sees something in him where he's like, I think he can be. He's like borderline racist about it though. He really was. He didn't have to do Mr. Miyagi. I was like, come on, bro. After the taco Tuesday, like you don't get the benefit. You don't, come of on, bro. Of my uh, that's, that's a little much. But like, I think the Lakers, like, they gonna they're gonna be health. Everything's depending on health, mm-hmm. of course. They can be really good, man. Especially if AD is is healthy, um, playing. We all said it. We've said it before mm-hmm. on the show. AD is like the catalyst. That's the that's the measure mm-hmm. of how good the Lakers can be. We know what LeBron is and what he's going to give you. But if AD can be consistent play that defense, knock down some shots, it, it changes the, the dynamic for him. So my four Nuggets, Suns, I just really like the way they filled out the rest of that roster around that big three. It was impressive to me. Lakers, mm, actually, mm, <laughs> it's between Lakers and Grizzlies. I'm not sure which order to put them in. Nuggets, Suns, let me go Lakers, then Grizzlies. Shout out to the Warriors. Shout out to the Kings. Not shouting out the Clippers. <laughs> that was for you, Ken. <laughs> uh, yeah, also, apparently the Clippers were trying to get Drew. I'm like, oh, y'all, they were. They should have. Y'all tried. motherfuckers should have, like, tried harder. That's where I was hoping, he, where I was hoping he was going. Like, let him send him home, and then I don't have to worry about it. Um, I see Jake. Yeah, no. KG added a Phoenix pickup wall. That would be nice too. He ain't gonna do nothing there. He's gonna be on the bench looking pretty. <laughs> and then you also said AD said he was gonna have the goal to play all 82 games. We will see. Don't do that, bro. That's a great goal to have. It is not. I think like, every player should strive. Like, hey, I would love to be available for 82 games. Good for you. I mean, because he, he ain't playing the 83rd if he play 82. Like, like <laughs> and he prioritize health at the right part of the year. Like, and now. Uh, why said that too he's like ah. he's talking about the the law no he, he was saying like if the league is trying to like legislate a way to get him to play more games like it's not gonna happen he's actually injured right mm-hmm. and it's like this shit don't and I, I think i've said it a number of times it's like it's different like he's not just taking off games because he just needs to rest it's because right. his body can't take playing that many games in that short amount of time yeah Okay. Like it sucks, and like I wish that they would have a way of like give me an injury schedule or something. Like if you know, like these are his targeted rest days, like put that up front when you selling me the ticket, so yeah. I know. Okay, I'm not gonna go to that game because he's probably not gonna play. And they probably well, we can't do that because depending on how the season and what the biometrics say about the recovery, <laughs> and I get it, but like you can be more a little bit more transparent about that, especially without, if you know ahead of time. Like yeah. we know he's not gonna play back to backs this season. Like just mention that, but let's move on. Because-